What's poppin' every bootie? Today you're listening to episode 39 of Life Being High, the podcast. Today I'm wearing some traditional merch looking like a whole piece of tie-dye just threw up on me. Yep, there you go. A little upside down, but you know what it says. And I also rolled up a true hemp, hemp wrap. And they're my new fave hemp wraps at the moment. And I got some Wanna Land up in there. So you already know we about to get lit lit. I hope you guys are doing amazing. And today I'm really excited because we're going to be talking about credit. Okay. I know I may not seem like the most best person to be giving advice. So I warn you now, no matter who it is, especially someone on the internet, you know, someone you've never actually met in person, but sometimes it'd be your own family. Like... People may have good intentions, but it's up to you to decide if you should take their advice or not. And I'll get into that a little bit more later. But I want to catch y'all up, tell you what I've been up to these past two weeks since there was no podcast last week because I suck. Now, honestly, it's because I want to give you guys some quality content always. And I don't want to just be like talking your ear off, you know, like I'm trying to give you like something that you're gonna go home with you're gonna take away like why am i making so much noise sorry moving my ashtray around but you already know i want these to be lit ass podcasts so what's popping i actually got a facial because i actually uploaded a video talking about it was a little personal. I, was, it, I wasn't having the best day ever. And I was just very raw and real with you guys, which y'all appreciated, which thank you for being so accepting. You know, there's a lot of, I feel like, YouTubers out there. Like, they can't do what I do, like, being very vulnerable on the internet because their audience or whoever it is watching them, especially, like, the bigger YouTubers who just have, like, millions because with that comes more haters. And I just feel like they would you know it would be the end of them <laughs> like people would just be like oh you're you want attention and blah 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 so i'm really 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 grateful that y'all make me feel safe on this platform and accepted more than anywhere else in life like i swear like this is my home and i'm very I'm very glad to be here uh, why am i getting so deep well anyhow Oh my gosh, I just keep on hitting stuff. Like, can I stop moving? I want to, like, restart for the third time, but I'm going to just wing it. We're just going to go with it. Um, uh, why do I keep saying, oh, this one land got me lit. It's been so long since I filmed a podcast. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like, literally nervous. Um, there I go with the arms. I was like, what am I? Well, I was going to say something, y'all. I swear. Oh, yeah. So I was stressing. OK, this past month uh, of April, stressful month, but it was still a really good month, but stressful month. And so coming to May, girl, I had so much acne. I had to hit up at the glow dealer on Instagram. Be sure to go hit her up. Show her some love. She did some cool sculpting on me, which y'all can't see right now because I'm wearing a big old hoodie. But girl, she got me snatched. If you guys want to get snatched for summer, she does it all. She does literally everything you could imagine. So I actually went to her mainly for a facial. Ended up getting cool, uh, sculpted, which was nice. Um, but I also got a facial. I got microneedling and dude, I needed it. Like right now I'm seeing myself and I look so much better than I would have like a week ago. And my skin is still healing. So I don't know where I'm going with this, but if I look a little cray cray, <laughs> it's cause I'm going through that healing process of after getting microneedling, you're not supposed to wear makeup, but here I am wearing a whole ass face of makeup because you already know that's how we do. <laughs> that's probably why I got acne too because I wear too much makeup. Um, anyways, that's not what we're talking about today, okay? I'm just trying to catch you up, tell you what I've been up to. Uh, I got a question asking me if I've been going on any dates. Like one of you guys, Honey Boo Boo's, I saw commented 
and they're like hey des have you been going on dates and honestly i haven't been oh that reminds me um i didn't go on a date but i did hang out with this guy it was kind of like not a double date but i guess but definitely not um it's funny too because the same friend that i had invited she had just invited me to hang out with two of her guy friends well like mainly one one guy she was really friends with and then it was like his homie so he didn't they didn't want like his homie just there so she invited me to hang out with them and we did and then a couple weeks later i invite her to come hang out with this one person that i knew very well and then their homie so you know it ended up being two guys two girls and but it was not a double date and y'all i don't even want to get into it but it ended up kind of traumatizing me what i took away from that was like dating's not worth my time because it's not gonna go anywhere if a guy is really serious about you like he will like know it from the jump you know what i mean he's not gonna wanna oh come hang out with me and my friend which is fine because i don't want nothing serious either so something more casual like oh like let's just hang out and have a good time like i was down for that but you see if a guy's trying to do that he has other intentions he's not trying to do what i'm doing which is just have a good time and be casual about it nothing serious i mean i bet you there are humans like that out there (laughs) hopefully who are like me but not him in particular like you guys know a lot of guys they're thirsty they want that pee they want you push and pay uh um and they just a lot of them don't have good intentions and i feel like i i kind of know that from the jump but i like to give people the benefit of the doubt so i kind of need a break from dating right now because i can't be just giving anyone the benefit of the doubt you know what i mean just because oh we've dated a couple times and now i feel like i know you like no 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 no. because honey boo boo i ended up taking an uber home like it was that bad like why did i even go out you feel me like I could have had a really good time hanging out with my friend at somewhere else, anywhere else but there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm that traumatized me. Like, I'm just over dating. Like, it's just like, like, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? I don't care. I don't want to go to dinner with you. I don't want to have a drink with you. I don't want to meet your friends. I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I don't want to go on a boat. I don't. <laughs> Is that mean? I just want to travel and not with you (laughs) not with anyone (laughs) i mean i would want to travel with people but not like with anyone serious Uh, just like friends let's just go as friends anyways um let's talk about what we're really here to talk about which is our motherfucking credit so let me tell y'all let's see i wrote down notes but i just want to speak from my mind but let me sip some red bull let me know what y'all sipping what are y'all sipping on Uh, I never used to drink Red Bull. I used to never drink energy drinks, but I became a new woman. Uh, I do a lot. Why do I keep saying ah? I'm so annoying. Um, I don't know. I just I do a lot of new things that I didn't used to do, and I I have changed. But I don't know. If you ask me, like, why did you start drinking? It like what made me start? Like I don't know. It's just kind of like what that's what everyone does. Everyone either drinks coffee or drinks energy drinks like literally everyone and not like i'm trying to be like everyone but like i tried it and now i'm like not hooked but it's a vibe it's just, it just completes the vibe like i feel like it's a podcast vibe now to be drinking energy drink and i want to be and i want my energy to be on point for the podcast so it just goes hand in hand you know it's not hurting me it's kind of helping me so why not but it is hurting me because honey boo boo i bet you well actually i'm drinking sugar free technically this is sugar free but i bet you it's still got hella shit that's not good for me and i bet you this also causes acne so love that for me just kidding no i don't okay so when i was growing up y'all i didn't think credit mattered like literally i remember having this mindset where i told myself because of my family okay i feel like it depends on like what kind of family you have like what not what kind of family you have but like what they what did they tell you growing up because mine personally told me that credit cards were the worst thing 
that could you could possibly do for yourself because it's just gonna get you into a big hole where you're gonna be stuck and it's just a government trap like that's literally kind of what i was like taught so because i was taught that it was just something bad I didn't ask any more questions. You know, when you know something's bad for you, I feel like people don't look too much into it. They're just like, okay, it's bad for me. All right, I'm going to avoid it. So as a kid, of course, like, what the fuck? I'm not going to be like, wait, I actually want to know. Like, what's credit? Like, no, I didn't care. So when I became a young adult, I had to keep in mind, for those of you guys who don't know, I feel like everybody knows that I kind of like started being an adult at 17 because I graduated a year early. So... And then I got kicked out of the house. So at 17, I was already a graduate. And I was in college at the time. And then I ended up going to a different college, a better college. But I am technically a college dropout. Um, I was, like, uh, on my own, you know, at 17. So I was forced to, like, learn about all these things on my own. So everything I know today is because I either read about it, I learned about it, you know what I mean? I did my own research. It wasn't because cause of the things that I was told was just what I already said was that, oh, it's bad, it's not good for you, it's a trap. So those are the only things I was told. So all of the other like actual things that I learned was because I did my own research. So that's also a tip I have. If you don't know a lot about something, do research on it. You know, I was uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and I, my goal was to have zero credit. Like, I just didn't want credit history. I told myself I never, ever, ever want credit. Well, when I went to this better college that I mentioned, it's because I used to go to community college. Um, so now uh, I was going, I had switched to FITM, which is a fashion institute of design and merchandising, which if you know about it, you know it's a super expensive school. It's ridiculous. So they made me get a student loan and that showed up on my credit history so now I have a credit score because when you don't have credit history your shit's zero so now I have this loan now I have numbers tell me why that number was low it was like in the 500s I don't remember exactly but it was like low and I didn't know what that meant in my in my head I thought well if a thousand is like the max well a thousand 500 that's not that bad that's like half you know zero is bad no no no, no. i learned that 500 is bad even 600 is not the best 700 okay you're getting there 740 that's what you want 800 you're doing great you know what i mean anything beyond that you're straight for life ah no i'm just kidding if you keep it up but yeah so in my head you know i didn't think that that number was that bad i figured if it just stays there i'll be fine I figured like I'm a, I had I've only had two cars ever in my life and I paid for both of them cash. So I never had intentions of financing a car or you know what I mean? Like I already knew I'm going to have to pay for car insurance, I'm going to have to pay for rent, I'm going to have to pay for Wi-Fi, I'm going to have to pay for my phone bill, and I'm going to have to pay for gas and food and anything else that I want in life. So I figured let me limit the amount all of my bills. Let me have the least amount of bills possible so in my head that meant paying for my car cash which actually isn't the best idea um i've actually learned through some research in some situation in some situations uh um doing monthly payments on a car could be actually um smarter but at the time, like, it was kind of smarter for me to just pay for these cash because I didn't know when I was going to get that money again. And because I was such a young adult, I was spending money, like, left and right. You know what I mean? I didn't know about money management. And so I just had a savings. And once that savings hit a certain goal, I went car shopping. I went Louis Vuitton shopping. I went wherever I wanted. Nowadays, I don't do that. <laughs> but, um... That's what I did, just so I didn't, I didn't have too many bills, which, you know, was kind of smart. Makes sense, right? Um, well, I thought that I didn't need a credit his I didn't need to improve my credit score because, oh, it's fine. I'll just pay cash for my cars. 
So I thought it doesn't matter. Some of you guys might be thinking that way too. That's why I'm saying my old way of thinking because some of you guys might think this way. And there's, there's a reason why it's my old way of thinking and I don't think like that anymore. Um, so also... When I was moving to new apartments, because I move to a new apartment like every year. Whenever my lease is up, I usually move. So these apartments, I remember my first apartment, my deposit was the amount of my rent. It was the same amount as my first month's rent. At that time, I didn't have the student loan, so my credit was literally zero, like just plain old zero. So they told me... Not only do you have to pay first month's rent, pay all these other expenses, but you also have to put a deposit, which is the same amount as first month's rent. Sometimes the deposit could be as low as like 100 bucks. Usually in California, from what I've experienced, it's usually around like 500. Well, at least for apartments where I've lived, it definitely depends where you live. If you live in like kind of newer apartments, I would say, yeah, it's like five, 700. Depending on your credit, it could also be the same amount as first month's rent. So when I first started out being a little youngin, moving to these new apartments, I said, hey, it ain't no big deal. You know, I got the money. They're, it's a deposit. They have to legally give it back. <sighs> and trust me, I'm not rich. But I'm good at saving for, you know, whenever I have a goal, I'm good at, you know, being kind of disciplined so I could like save for that goal, which was me moving. So I had these expenses set aside for moving, but at the same time, I kind of made it, <laughs> not me having a glitch, I said, boom, boom, boom. I made it like a mental note in the back of my head that, oh, don't worry, Dest, you're going to get that $2,000 back because that's how much almost, it was a little bit less than that, but almost for the deposit. I told myself, don't worry, when you move out, you're going to get that money back. It's a deposit. Don't trip. This is just for you to get in. Honey boo boo, the thing that I learned, and a lot of you guys who have lived in apartments will also know the apartments literally will keep your deposit they will they will legally like i know they're not supposed to but they will find a way to make it look legal by charging you for things that were already broken they gave you the apartment like that but yet they're charging you for it like for something that's like a little damaged or something but you're like girl like i moved in and that the door was looking like that like the window was like that like what do you mean <laughs> you know what i mean and or you move out and they, they say something was like super terrible like the carpet or like something i remember when i moved out of my apartment they were trying to say like there was um dog pee and i'm like what dojo pees in a cat litter and i don't even have a like a dog so i was just like y'all capping like so they really be like saying whatever they can just to keep the deposit you know because if your friend lets you borrow a fuck if your friend i don't even know you already know like <laughs> basically it doesn't matter how big or reputable or well-known or high class or fancy or whatever word you want to use it doesn't matter how much of an apartment building or company it is these companies at the end of the day they are big and they're fancy and they're whatever they are for a reason. And it's because they steal from people. No, I'm just kidding. But it's because they do sneaky stuff like that, you know? I used to think like, oh, that only happened because I lived in the ghetto when I first got my first apartment. I lived in Koreatown in a very <laughs> not safe neighborhood. And so uh, nowadays I actually pass by it. It seems better. But back then, it wasn't that safe. <laughs> like, there was literally tents of homeless people outside. I mean, it wasn't like I didn't not feel safe, but my family, they were scared for me. And I remember being just clueless. Like, I didn't know what was safe at that time and what wasn't. I was just like, I don't care. I'm in L.A. <laughs> but freaking, I'd be more scared now. And I have hella security and, like, a whole, like a whole system in this apartment like cameras and my old like the korea town apartment i didn't even have cameras like and i was so fearless it was so funny i love that for me uh it's because i was young i, I was unaware <laughs> but which i'm gonna call it so i just thought like okay well i lived in the hood like of course they're gonna try to keep your dough makes sense 
Then I ended up moving up, making more bread. I was able to move to better neighborhoods, one with cameras, one with security, one with a gate. Like, you know what I mean? Security, baby. Like, what? So I thought, like, these are the ones who are going to, you know, be legit and give me my money back. No, not only did they keep my money, those are the people who said that there was dog pee. And they, they ended up trying to charge me $1,200 for carpet replacement because of this dog pee that they said, which there was no, there was never, ever, ever cat pee, like ever. So, yeah, and I took pictures of the whole place and everything, and it cost Small Claims Court, and, you know, they helped me out, and luckily, I actually did get my money back, but it was because I had to call Small Claims Court and make it a whole situation, send letters, send proof, and it was a stressful, stressful situation. I had never been through that, so I was really, really stressed at first, because at the time, too, like, I didn't have freaking twelve hundred dollars set aside for that i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna get sent to collections like i was stressed um but now that i've been through that like if that tries if that happens again like now i know what to do now i know what to expect um but yeah for that apartment my deposit was 700 and on top of that they're trying to charge me 1200 like what got me messed up but um what you would call it yeah, so that's when I learned, like, okay, credit kind of matters. Because even my next apartment after that in San Diego, my deposit, it was expensive. They were having a special, too. They were like, if you have good credit, your deposit will be super low because I was moving around the holidays. And there's always, like, special deals when you're moving around the holidays. Because nobody moves around the holidays because everybody's spending money on gifts because everybody has kids and a family. But me, I don't have nobody yet. So I'm like, girl, I'm moving. I'm treating myself. Um, <laughs> thanks to the Life Being Death fam. All thanks to you guys listening. But uh, because my credit was not good, I was not able to... Um, get that special deal i think it was probably like 250 if i'm not mistaken and i ended up having to pay 700 again she was like yeah so we ran your credit and you don't have a lot of credit history so um you don't get that special i was like oh <laughs> so yeah because it, it that special it still depends on your credit um but yeah so that's when i kind of like got the hint like okay maybe this thing does kind of matter and you guys i was so clueless i didn't even know what interest was so when i had this student loan i used to never check credit karma it's a free website where you can check your credit score if you don't know what it is i recommend you guys you know sign up for the alerts so it emails you or texts you or alerts you somehow whenever your score changes because it's very motivating and you're on tr you're on track and if it goes down you know you could be you could check on that website like well, what went wrong and you could learn from your mistakes and you could learn how to do better um and that's exactly what i did but that's not enough you're gonna also have to do some research or at least listen to this podcast because i'm gonna get into way more details on how i raise my credit but i want to first enforce to you guys on how important it actually is because i don't want you to go through everything i just said that i went through you know i want you guys to be prepared and not have to put down a big deposit when you move to these apartments i want them to run your credit and then be surprised like dang you got a good credit score you only gotta put down a 200 dollar deposit you know and when you move out they're only gonna keep 200 <laughs> they might try to charge you for more but you're gonna tell them no i took pictures all right i'm gonna call some malls claims court so yeah that's when i realized like okay credit's kind of important i lived right next to a chase before so and i had a chase account already i had been had a chase account that was the only account oh well, i don't know if i'm supposed to say this on the internet but yeah at the time that was the only account i had that was the one that my tia helped me get <laughs> i say that so serious my tia yeah for real shout out to her love you tia miss you <laughs> but um yeah never forget where i came from baby because i'm very appreciative of everyone who helped me get to where i'm at today because man it was a roller coaster but damn i'm talking too much this is a very serious video like i kind of just want to like chill but nah i need to let y'all know this this legit 
your plug might start running credit checks you feel me if he wants to put you on he for sure running credit checks <gasps> that's so legit imagine <laughs> when moving packs becomes legal one day in 2030 i believe it that'll be li that'll be so cool um where what happened to burning for president <laughs> isn't he president i don't know honestly i'm so uneducated anyhow moving on i'm just kidding y'all i'm just lit um so i lived right next to a chase i try to walk in and be like hey like i want a credit card and they kind of didn't take me serious like i literally sat down in like a little like office room with like this guy and i told him that oh actually what happened was i had applied for a credit card and through Chase online, because you could do it online. So I did it online. It told me to wait for a little bit. And I think I got something in the mail that said they're not sure if this is fraud. So to go to my nearest Chase and to talk to someone in, to make sure it's not fraud. So I was like, okay, this is weird. So that's exactly what I did. You know, I went right next door, pulled up, went walking. That's how close it was. And I said, what's popping with it? trying to get that chase credit card and yeah he was like um i don't know what this is he tried to call a few people i kind of went at the wrong time because he was like not caring about me he was like girl like we're about to close like get out of my face and i honestly believe that he probably just pretended to call someone and he was just like oh they're not answering and i bet you he was pressing like zero 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 but whatever so that happened and i was kind of like um this is whack so i ended up trying to apply for an apple credit card and apple credit card didn't approve me they said sorry girl your credit's too whack um so oh by the way i ended up paying off my student loan not right then and there but like a long time ago because i was seeing the interest i know i'm jumping from topic to topic to topic but earlier i said that i didn't even know what interest was before and i could see on my credit karma that my student loan was building interest and interest means when you're borrowing money like a student loan depending how long it takes for you to, to pay it back there's a certain percent that they're going to add on to what you owe. So the sooner you pay it off, the less amount you pay extra. So luckily I was able to pay that off because fuck that shit. And yeah, so my credit score got a little bit better cause I paid that off, but at the same time it wasn't moving because I didn't have a credit card. The only, sorry, I'm stuttering, but the only way to get my credit score to go up, I realized, was to get a credit card. The one thing that my every single family member told me not to do, mostly like my, my immediate family. I remember my tia, the one who got me the Chase account, she tried to get me a credit card too, like not right away, but once she saw that I was kind of getting money, she was like, hey, you know, you're, you're 18 now you should get a credit card be very responsible for it build your credit now she was super smart i wish i had listened to her and i actually remember going because she lived down the street from my grandma so i went over to my grandma's house that's where i would hang out a lot a lot and um telling them like hey yeah so i just applied for this credit card the yeah, told me to so i did um, do you guys have credit cards like how do you feel about credit cards you know just trying to get their like opinion like you know multiple opinions tell me why i don't even remember what they told me so i don't want to put words in their mouth but all i remember feeling i all i remember was how i felt after that conversation and i remember regretting that i applied for the credit card and i got approved i feel like it was a i forgot what credit card it was but anyways they had approved me way back in 2018 or whatever and um i remember getting it in the mail but since the last conversation i had about credit was with my grandma and my dad and they had just made me feel very like you know regretting my decision so when i got it in the mail saying hey you got approved you just got to do these last few steps in order to actually get the credit card i didn't do it 
like I was like no way this is a sign I don't even want to do extra steps I was so young at the time I was freshly 18 like probably like a weekend to being 18 and I was just like oh I have to do more work like I don't even know what this is like I didn't know anything about credit and I remembered when my grandma and my dad told me so I was like no 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 they said this is really bad so and I honestly who knows everything happens for a reason and because I was so young at the time I probably would have been not using the credit card correctly so you know everything happens for a reason so even though I kind of regret it because I could have been building my credit history since back then for those of you guys who don't know um, a good pro on building credit is having length the longer your credit history is the better because I don't know why <laughs> I'm high right now but I just know that that's better it looks better for the banks because they're like okay cool like you've been managing money for like three years because that's how long you've had a credit card or whatever it is you know but because I barely started to do this seriously I've only had my credit card dude you guys I've had credit for less than five months so I this is very 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 new to me like just recently I was like because I started to think about how I want um, to get property. I want to pay for property. I don't want to rent anymore. I don't want to put deposits. I don't want to be charged for an invisible dog supposedly peeing and ruining the carpet for it to be over a $1,000 fine. Like, no, not happening. So I started to think, like, I'm going to stop buying louis vuitton and i'm going to start buying property <laughs> you know what i mean and then eventually one day i want to do both property and louis but i can't just do louis 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 like we gotta have balance so in order to get property i'm gonna need a loan you like i said oh i could pay for a car cash ah no problem girl how you gonna pay for a house cash how you gonna pay for that mansion you want cash how you gonna pay for that mclaren cash you know what i mean people don't do that people you know they get loans they get lo like f f a o f o a first time buyer <laughs> you see i don't even know fha i don't even know man see i i need a that's my next thing that i'm gonna start doing a bunch of research well i've already been doing research but i need to do more research about but when doing research research oh my gosh when doing research on property i discovered oh the first thing you need first thing you need good credit before you even yes save obviously you need a savings you're gonna need a down payment well maybe not all the time in some situations but in a lot of situations you're gonna need a down payment so yeah you're gonna need to save money but on top of that you're gonna need good credit so that's that's what motivated me because i was like i need a i need a um there's actually people in my building who i'm not the most fond of and they're not the most fond of me and we cross paths and you know i'm tired of that like i want a cribbo like i want a, a mm. <laughs> you know what i mean there's just so many reasons as to why i want property and not rent anymore so i'm very very blessed to have really thought of that and decided to take the steps necessary to like you know become closer to that to reaching that goal and yeah i discovered that okay i'm gonna need good credit for that so barely less than five months ago you guys i went from no credit cards to less than 600 credit score to now nearly 800 credit score and um not quite but nearly and a few credit cards like a few um and I plan on getting more. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> um, only when the time is right, okay? Don't rush into anything. Just like your relationships. <laughs> so, what did I do to get my credit score up? Y'all are probably wondering. Well, I told you. I tried to go to... Oh, no. My cherry. I tried to apply for an Apple credit card, which I recommend. Apple is really good, especially if you have like an iPhone or even... I feel like Androids use Apple Pay nowadays. So yeah, if you have a smartphone in general, Apple credit card is perfect because you get like, I think, 2 or 3% cash back when you use Apple Pay. Girl, I feel like I'm getting a free like Starbucks or a free like 10 bags of Hot Cheetos like every week or... Just depends how much you use 
Apple Pay. But, um, and what you use it on, because certain things, even credit cards, like, if you use it on restaurants and gas, like, you get, like, certain points or money back. So, you're actually, like, credit cards are good. I don't know why people say they're not good. So, yeah, anyways, but I didn't get approved at first for Apple. So, what I had to do, and for a lot of you guys, if you're not getting approved for any credit cards, get a secure card. You could get a secure card with whoever you want you could do some research on it personally i went with discover i did research and i decided that discover was a good option for me i had actually heard bad things about discover from an older person um when i was in high school it's so weird how i pay attention to random little things I swear, I don't remember what I did this morning, but I remember this old lady that I, not old lady, but she was an older lady who I did an internship for because she was a photographer. Um, and I wanted to be a photographer, so I did an internship with her. And she was talking about, I was actually her, her register girl. She was a photographer for kids would come and take picture with santa claus and her business was her taking literally she wasn't a real photographer because that shit was on a tripod and all she would do is press a button and sometimes she would even have um the other intern interns she even had me sometimes be the one pressing the button and i remember like i felt so special every time i got to be that position i was like oh my god i'm the photographer <laughs> i felt legit um but mostly, I was the cash register girl. I'm super good at counting money, honey. So she knew that. She's like, girl, you're my cash register girl. And um, she, somebody came. And they were like, I have a Discover card. Can I pay with Discover? And that girl went off. I remember, like, the photographer lady, she went off. She was like, I don't fuck with Discover. Blah, 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 blah. Like, Drrr. she just was going off. So when I was doing research and I heard, like, Discover, I was kind of like, ooh, I'm scared. But honestly, I feel like she was low-key, maybe, possibly, doing some sketchy stuff. Like, why else are you going off? because i remember what she said i'm not gonna say it on here but i remember what she said was like something but like i don't know though i don't know i don't know i don't know um we're not gonna make assumptions okay uh me making assumptions though <laughs> why do i i'm like looking into my soul right now like in the fucking viewfinder i'm like <sighs> i don't know why oh my gosh <laughs> what's wrong with me taking a hit for all of you guys who can't right now okay fatties only <laughs> i'm spilling ash all over me what was i saying let me get to the juicy part how did i raise my credit score oh yeah i got a secure card for those of you guys who don't know what a secure card is and you're like what's a secure card it's basically like a card that's almost a credit card but it's not a credit card because when you get a credit card it it will it could cost money to get get a credit card depending which one you get but there are credit cards that are like that don't cost anything you know what i mean and they just give you a credit line of like let's say 500 so now this magical card magically has like 500 dollars in it but you have to pay it back so every month you know that's obviously what a credit card is so a secure card instead of the bank giving you five hundred dollars that you give back you give the bank however much you want oh no 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 on discover you could decide if you want 100 to i think 500 maybe the minimum is something else but i think it's like around 100 minimum and so you could pick what's suitable for you and every month um you, well, like now that card, kind of like a gift card, you know, you've put $500 in it and now you have a little card that you could spend up to $500 on. But the trick is, is that you also want to pay it back. So you're kind of treating like that deposit is like from the bank. So now you're paying it back. So you're making payments on it. And after making hopefully on time payments for consecutive months, 
the bank will say, all right, we trust you. Now we're giving your deposit back. The banks are legit. I mean, not all of them, but some of them. So, you know, discovered legit because they gave me my deposit back. Thank goodness. Oh, my gosh. It was such a bad thing, too, because my uh, thing got my check got sent to my old address. And I got an email saying like, hey, your, dis- your thing just got delivered. And I was just like, what? I checked my mail. I'm like, where's my deposit? Girl, I had no check. So I had to call them. And luckily, they voided that one and sent me a new one. So that was good. Shout out to them. But yeah, adult things, you guys. Adult things. Man. It is a struggle. And I'm struggling to, like, be comfy and not make a lot of sounds hitting a bunch of stuff. So, I didn't wait long after I got my secure card. I waited probably, like, a month and a half. I tried to wait... I think it was like six weeks. So around four to six weeks. I I even Googled it. I was like, how soon can you apply for a credit card um, after getting a secure card? Like, I did research on this shit, you guys. So off the top of my head, I don't remember exactly. But four to six weeks I waited. um, So not long. I think, yeah, no, I definitely waited over a month because I knew I had to at least make my first monthly payment. Uh, So I ended up applying for the Apple card again. I got approved. After that, I went back onto the Chase website and I applied again for the Chase credit card. And then, yeah, ever since it's been history. And now whenever I feel like I need to, I will get a new credit card. And the way I base off of getting credit cards, I do a bunch of research on the credit cards and what benefits am I looking for? At first, I just, you know, I want to spend my credit card on practical things. I don't want to get a Sephora, Victoria's Secret, or Forever 21 credit card because with those credit cards, the perks are if you spend money on those things that aren't necessities. If you're a beauty guru, if you're a makeup geek and you get your makeup artist and you get paid for doing other people's makeup, then yeah, okay, that's your investment. That's kind of your business. So having a Sephora gift card is beneficial for you or Ulta or whatever. But for me... Mm, that's that's just me wasting money not wasting but like that's kind of me like spoiling myself when i shop at those stores those aren't necessities for me maybe a best buy gift card would make sense i mean gift card credit card could make sense um if i'm constantly buying new equipment but honestly because of what i do i'm not a photographer um i actually don't buy too much equipment i mean maybe maybe one day i actually will get a best buy gift card i have thought of that but uh, I do buy a lot of Apple products. I know like every year when the new phone comes out, I buy uh, an Apple product. So it made sense to get the Apple credit card. So you, if, if you're catching my drift, um, do what's beneficial for you. I recently started traveling a lot. So now I'm interested in getting a credit card where I could go to airport lounges. So where I have that um, perk. So do research on these credit cards, see what perks you want, but also don't do it because of the perks. Um, Well, actually, yeah, I mean, you could do it because of the perks, I guess. That's what gets people in. I don't know. I just don't want you guys to go for Victoria's Secret and Forever 21 because you're like, oh, but the perks. Like, no. Again, those aren't making you money. When I travel, surprisingly, I'm able to make money, you know, when I travel. So, especially if it's like a business trip, of of course. So, it would make sense for me to get a a traveling credit card or, you know, one where I earn travel points and stuff. Because, you know, it's more content for you guys. I have vlogs all over the world. But, yeah, so... Yeah, some tips that I learned I want to share with you guys because it seems simple, like, okay, you just get a credit card, you pay it off every month, you know what I mean? Well, there's some things that I learned, and that is, I wrote it on my phone, actually. Don't look at my password, just kidding. Okay, I wrote this, like, at 2 in the morning, let me see what it says. (gasps) Did I delete it? 
swear. What? I had like such a big list of stuff. Oh yeah, podcast app. app. Yeah, it says at eleven thirteen p.m. That's when I wrote this. I remember I was in bed and I was just like dee 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 typing away. Um, tip number one. Pay your credit card payment before the due date. So I didn't know this. Maybe I'm stupid for not knowing this. But the banks report how much you're spending on your credit card. So me, I used to max out my credit cards because I didn't have a lot. Now I have a lot so I could like divide it up. You know what I mean? And not max them all out technically it's good to spend i think around 30 percent um so yeah anyways um for me i found it best if i paid my credit cards around a week and a half maybe even two weeks before the due date so i'm i end up paying my credit cards like twice a month <laughs> because i just don't like that they report it to the creditors and then it could affect your credit history but now i don't really have to do that that much because now i have a lot of credit cards when you have a lot of credit cards um your total for your credit limit goes up you know like let's say one credit card you had was 500 dollars limit but let's say now you have three credit cards that are each 500 dollars. so even if you max out one 500 and the other two stay at zero your total credit line is not 500 it's all three so it's 1500 so the fact that you're using 500 dollars out of the 1500 isn't that bad rather than if you only had one credit card that was um just the 500 and you fucking use 500 they're then they're gonna be like tripping but it is better to divide it up um so I don't even know. Maybe it could affect it if you do use it all on one. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll recommend dividing it. Like use 150 on each credit card on each three, you know, rather than 500 on one. I don't, I don't, I know 150 doesn't even equal to 500, but you know what I mean. Like divide it up 200, 200, fucking 100 on one. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Um, Let me see. So yeah, I like to pay my credit cards like up to a week and a half before um the due date um i also put another tip is to not close a credit card account unless you absolutely have to um even if you barely use a credit card like let's say you got like a random ass credit card that was free it doesn't have an annual fee if it has an annual fee yeah i guess if you don't use it like you could um if you have to you could um cancel it or whatever um or close your account <laughs> um i'm dead my friend she's like we need to come out with the date because we keep saying we're gonna go on a hike and then our fucking fat asses never do just kidding <laughs> um I'm like, just kidding. I'm the fucking fat ass. I feel like she'd be going to the gym and I'm the one who's like, ugh, goes to the gym once a week. Y'all, I've been struggling to stay consistent, but I'm kind of motivated because I do have a trip coming up. Which actually, fun fact, stay posted because I'll show you guys in the vlog. If you guys want, I could break down like how much I spend on traveling. And I think I, I wouldn't want to do it for like... um to show off it would be more for like just so you guys know like this is possible because growing up like it, talking about stuff like this with family it was like oh that's impossible that's so out of reach like that's just so expensive it's not worth it like it's just too much you know so now that i'm doing shit i'm like bro it's it doesn't have to be that much especially because there's always a way you guys there's just always a way you know and you don't even have to do it my way and you can find a better way or whatever but i just want to like point out the fact that you know, this, this is possible because what what I'm getting at is that my hotel stay, okay, 
I don't want to tell you guys just yet how long I'm going to be staying where I'm at and shit like that. But my hotel stay was completely free because, not because, oh, I'm an influencer. Oh, I fucking wish a company did that shit. Girl, I'll be legit. But um, it's because of my credit card, bruh. Uh, I got my Chase preferred credit card. I don't. I, I'm not sure if it has a annual fee. If it does, I think it's a hundred dollars. So every year they charge you a hundred bucks um, to open up this credit card. But it's super beneficial because I just got a luxury hotel stay for more than enough time. I want to tell you guys how long, but I just can't because for safety purposes. Um, but which I'm gonna call it. It was paid all through points because when you spend money on your credit card, you earn points. And specifically for the Chase one, you're able to change those points for travel, for food, for whatever it is you really want to do, honestly. Um, but I think it's the most beneficial on travel because I never thought that I would be able to travel. I just always thought it was out of reach and impossible and scary and all those things but no i mean it could be definitely but it's also it's more than just that you know what i mean like shoot i live one life like i really want to live it with no regrets no regrets so that's cool i just like i can't believe i got like a hotel stay for like what crazy okay well anyways um oh yeah yeah so i was saying not to close your old accounts because especially if they don't have an annual fee because like i was saying earlier like the longer your credit history the better because then the banks think like hey she knows what she's doing she's been doing this for three years so yeah the longer you have your accounts the better um Mm. I I made a new list, not a new list, another list, and it says better credit benefits I didn't know before. Oh, I already talked about this, like the deposit when moving into apartment. Oh, another thing is property. Um, when you know you need to get a loan to get that cribo to build you know your freaking custom house custom build whatever it is you want to do um or even you know get a car um all that stuff um having a good credit score well, you'll have a better interest rate which is remember interest is the percent that they charge you on how long it takes you to pay it off so you know two plus two equals four (laughs) y'all why am i saying that i'm dead i'm pretty lit but yeah so lots of benefits mean lots of benefits yeah and it's easier because you could also get okay so for those of you guys who are like "Mm, i don't want to buy property yet or "Mm, i don't need a car like that yet Mm, well what if you want a loan to start your business or to expand your business? What if you thought that, oh, if only I had some money to buy a camera or to buy some, why does it sound like I'm farting? Um, or to buy some like tattoo ink or whatever it is you need to like invest in because that's your dream and your, that's your passion. And, you know, uh, it's going to make you a millionaire. Uh, maybe you need to get a loan for that. Or if you want to like open a storefront, a uh, restaurant, all that stuff, you're going to need a good credit score so that way you could get a loan so you can start your dream business, baby. So that's another thing, too. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Credit cards, you get cash back on every transaction on every transaction maybe not every credit card but some credit cards on every transaction you get some sort of cash back and my soon-to-be new credit card i will get airport lounge access baby uh i don't even know if that's cool we're gonna see what's up with it uh i've been doing research on it but yeah so what i do now personally i'm not sure if this is the best thing to do obviously do what works for you i know not everybody this is gonna work for you um 
But me, what I like to do is nowadays, because I have so many credit cards, I could use certain why am I talking like this? Um, I use my credit cards for my personal, not all of them. Okay, I know, okay. I'll have a certain credit card that I know in mind that I use for only this. Or I have another credit card where I use it for personal stuff. And that's really good for taxes because it's just easier to sort out. And also, um, some credit cards I get more benefits with the gas so i know in my head like okay my discover card i'm gonna use that for gas because i think i get like the most cash back when i use gas or even restaurants so i like to do that and then honestly i love using my chase card whenever i'm purchasing something kind of big so if it's like um well honestly i i'll just reach for whatever sometimes whatever i got handy but um yeah i just know that on chase you get the most points for travel so if i'm trying to travel real quick like book a flight tomorrow i don't know if i cash out at fucking ross i'm gonna get some points to book an excursion for free or a private tour whatever it is so and also i don't get motivated by these things all of those bonuses yeah they're nice but I don't purposely, let me go out to eat because I'm going to get points back. Like, no, girl, that's not a good investment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, eat at home. Uh, no, but what I'm trying to, I hope I'm not giving out too much information. This is kind of a lot of information about my own personal credit. Honestly, what I said was all a lie. Um, I also have an American Express that I often use that's my daily writer uh, um there's also a carrot card that i recently got still trying to um get a brand deal with them <laughs> um what else honestly there's just so many i have too many credit cards no i need more credit cards i need them all i'm soon gonna have like five travel credit cards so I can have access to every lounge. Uh, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. So I will purposely. Okay, so I have all my money in one account. Not me scratching my head. I have all my money. In, wait. No, I don't. I'm literally lying because I really don't. But I'm trying to help you guys, but also not get scammed. How do I do that? I have a friend, okay? I know a friend whose her finances are on point. And basically, she pays off her credit cards often basically okay wait why is this so confusing what i'm trying to say is that i don't use my debit card anymore whenever i'm purchasing something i use a credit card now because you get cash back when you use a credit card so i use my debit card to pay f off my credit cards so uh, you know there's money in your debit card account right but I don't, the only thing I use it for is to pay bills, which is my credit card bills. And those credit card bills are all of my other expenses. You know what I mean? And I was trying to explain how I have like a personal credit card and then I have like a business credit card and then I have like a, a credit card for, that I like to use for gas and then one that I like to use for like restaurants and then I have my Apple credit card whenever I could use Apple Pay, you know, for something small real quick at the gas station, just cool real quick you know what i mean we in a hurry um but if i'm at the grocery store i know that i could get more points if i use a different credit card so i use that other credit card if i have it handy you know what i mean not always a hundred percent of the time but it's good to know these things in the back of your head so you know which credit cards to pick because honestly those that money com coming back in every month 
um, just from my credit cards alone has been helping me a lot. Not only has it raised my credit score to almost like 800, but it's been like super beneficial. Like it's so fun to be like, oh, cool. I, I say I got this much money off. Like it'll save my credit card um, balance. But then because of all the cash back and stuff like that, it'll be like minus 20 bucks or even more, whatever it may be. So I'm like, cool. Like if I used a debit card, I would have had to just pay that regular credit card balance. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I pay my credit cards off, like I said, a week to two weeks in advance. Um if you are paying only the minimum amount on your credit card, then you're going to end up paying interest. That's where credit cards become bad. That's why people think that credit cards are bad, because they think that you have to pay interest. But the only way you end up paying interest if you is if you don't pay it by the end of the month, every month. So, why am I touching the wall? So you need to... Um, that's why I said I use my credit card like a debit card because on your debit card, you're only going to pay for what you could afford because on your debit card, you know, oh, I only got this much money in my bank account, so you're not going to go over. You're not going to splurge because you can't. It'll decline. So that's how I treat my credit cards. You know, I'm not going to buy something just because, oh, I got my credit card. Uh, I'm going to get points. Uh, the, no, 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 I treat it just like a debit card. And all the bonuses, all the extra is cool. It's a bonus. It's exactly what it is, a bonus. It's not a reason to spend more. And that's where people get the misconception that credit cards are bad because they get the wrong credit cards, like the ones that... They try to give you when you shop at Forever 21, when you go to the checkout line at whatever store it is. Target. Well, actually, I shop a lot at Target, so maybe that wouldn't be too bad. But also, Target's kind of expensive. I feel like sometimes I have the option to go to Target or Walmart. And if I have a Target credit card, I might be more motivated to go to Target more often, which could result in me spending more money so that's what that's how you got to think of it if i have a sephora credit card just like i said earlier forever 21 credit card not trying to hate on their credit cards if you like i said if it's like if you're a stylist if you're a photographer if you got to be buying forever 20 clothes from forever 21 like every month then yeah maybe having their credit card is beneficial for you because what is it you get like 20 percent off when you use their credit card or something like that but for someone like me, who's barely going to go, I'm going to be like, oh, they're having a special sale where if you use your credit card this week, you get two times the points. I want to go shopping, you know, and that's what's motivating me is the bonus. And that should not ever be your motivation to spend more money. Your motivation to spend more money should be that it's an investment and it's going to come back to you. Not because you're going to save a dollar. Not because you're going to make two extra points. No. <laughs> Why am I getting so deep into this? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm not a pro at credit, okay? I'm not a pro. But that's what I know. From what I've learned, from what I've been through, that is what I could tell you. I hope I was able to help you. And if I was a little bit boring, a little too serious, let me know. Because honestly, I didn't know how else to make this fun. We're talking about finances for Pete's sake. And I'm a stony. I'm not meant for this lifestyle. <laughs> but it's important because not only am I a stony, but I want to literally be a millionaire. Like, I want to help so many people. I don't want the millions for me. I want to be able to give it back to the community, to you guys, to everybody who could possibly need it. You know, to my younger self. Like, you know, just to have, like, I don't know, no, no worries. And if me giving you guys my personal experiences, my stories, tips that I've learned, um, I feel like that'll make you richer because, shoot, like I said, having I'm getting, you know, cash back with every purchase on my credit cards. You know, you just got to look, do research, make sure you're picking the right credit cards, you guys. But um, 
yeah i think i kind of like really gave you guys a good rundown so don't forget to give this video a like send it to your friends and family be like look this stoner knows what's up with it she got her credit straight uh, nah but i know not everything is as easy as it you know as i say and i'm sorry if i ever frustrate you guys i feel like it, i don't know i know sometimes i don't know seeing a stupid girl online talking about shit she doesn't even know it could be annoying so I'm just like, I'm going to let y'all know now, like, my B, because um, I got a lot of learning to do still, and I'm super, super blessed, and I'm super grateful to be in the position I'm in, and I will never, ever brag. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm lit. I'm thinking, I'm overthinking it. Now I'm like, fuck, am I going to get hate? A lot of you guys requested for this, so I try to give it to you the best way possible. I made hella notes, even at midnight. And it's literally midnight as I'm filming this, so we lit though. Sorry, this podcast came out a little bit late, but it was worth the wait. Eight. Hey. Hey, hey. much love you guys have an amazing rest of your guys this week like i said send this to your friends and family give it a like comment down below and i love you don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications Double have a week